gold. You be, 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 be. Go to work, don't go to work. So this girl might be mugging me off. <laughs> This vlog is a mess. I'm a mess. So I thought I'd show you in this vlog something that helps me save money. <laughs> hey all you cool cats and kittens, it's Carol Baskin. Good morning from me and my cold sore. How crazy do I look right now? Oh. Oh. Recently I've been waking up really early no matter what time i go to bed which is fine when i go to bed early but oh god i've been having no sleep hence the when everything first happened when we first got put in lockdown i remember waking up every morning and i was like oh my god this is mad and now i've started to wake up every morning and be like oh my god i'm done sometimes i put stuff on my story and i'm like that oh my god some more people need to hear this Okay, new guidelines coming in, so pretty much resuming normal life without all the fun bits, just the parts where I spend my money and exchange my time for money. Ain't that the truth? And then I put this up. If you like all things home and stuff like that today, I think it's going to be like a very homely vlog. So give this video a thumbs up, because it really helps me out. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm putting this up on Sunday morning, so right now, you could be in bed watching me, watching you. Uh, I don't, that's not the words. Yeah, you could be in bed watching me and I'm now watching you. <laughs> it's like in Bridesmaids, she's like, Lillian, I am, um, we've just, I don't know what the words are, with just one look. very aware I look like the biggest toe ever. Random, but I think the reason my cupboards stay organised and tidy is because I do little speed cleanups and organising, and my fridge is one of them. I would do, as part of my little morning routine, say once or twice a week, just to keep it looking. So here we have my fridge. You might think it looks fine, Jess, what's your problem? But like that bacon has got to go. It just it just needs a bit of salt in. I feel like some of them sumers are probably moldy. Check the vegetables. I like to do that so that I can check sort of what's sort of going bad and use that and it sort of dictates what meal I'm gonna make. Done. I just gave it a little wipe down. I didn't fully clean it, as you saw, and I was quite annoyed at myself because there was a few bits of food waste. Yeah, I've emptied, so I got rid of the packaging, put the little potatoes in there. It just keeps it tidy, keeps it clean, and it's one of the biggest things to stop me wasting food. It just reminds me what I've got, what's sort of going bad, and to get it used. So can we not talk about this? I don't know what happened. I, it, it all got a bit out of hand, and I have none left. Basically, I can't be trusted unless they're filled to the top. Somebody's got a new leaf. Oh my god, that just took me back to somebody come get her. She's dancing like a stripper. For anyone that managed to get that out of their head, you're welcome. It's back in there now. How exciting, though. You look beautiful, thing. Hello from my bench. It's actually been a few hours since I last vlogged. I've just been getting some stuff done. I've had some lunch. So I was just sitting here and I thought, oh my god. So I did my what I bought this month slash kind of what I've been buying in lockdown part one fush on. And I never did the part two, which was like the homeware bits. I feel like I'm missing some stuff, but I thought I'll do that now. Like, why not? I'll do anything to show my bench off, wouldn't I? I'm going to show this anyway, even though you've probably already seen this. Plant from Sainsbury's, and it was £7. I really recommend Sainsbury's for plants because they're reasonably priced, and they're really nice. This little guy from M&S. Look at him, and look at the pot. It came with this pot as well. This was £10. M&S is also another place that seems to have really quite reasonably priced plants. Another M&S purchase is this candle. However, when you smell it like this, amazing. When you light it, I don't know if it was just the first time I lit it and I was expecting like amazing things, but it was £5 as well. The first time that 
another section of a store had been opened and it wasn't just a supermarket so I got a bit overly happy and got this. Don't know if I'd recommend it, to be honest. This lantern from b and I think it was 12 99 and I think B&M is a really good place for little lanterns, the little tea light holders. I looked around for lanterns and online, everywhere else seemed to be really expensive. Also from B&M, this cushion. This is an outdoor cushion. It sort of has like a... I don't know if you hear that. That probably doesn't mean anything to you, but it's really easy to wipe down. And you've got the reverse side. This was £7. I've seen cushions in home base that would double the price of these and they weren't even as nice. This might seem really boring and I wasn't gonna include it. However, if you love mashed potato, I love a mashed potato. What, if you watch my cook with me video, which is quite funny if I must say so myself, I mashed the potato using this. You're probably thinking, what are you on about? If you watch that video, you'll see, but you be, you be, 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 go to work, do go to work. <laughs> um, yeah, so you'd put the potatoes on here and then you sort of, push them through and it's oh it's just a great way of never getting um lumpy mash and this is one of those debobbler shaver thingies i've wanted one of these for ages i don't know if it's a bit of an anti-climax that is good but it doesn't work miracles on some things i don't know how well you're going to be able to see this but there's the bobbles now you see them oh yeah now you don't. Woo! And it is very satisfying actually, I'll give it that. But yeah, I got this from Amazon. I'll really link any of that. But I'll link anything else I can link below, basically this. Something I can't show you, which is a sun lounger. Sun loungers, I wanna upgrade it. So I'm gonna be honest, it's not the best in the world, but you can't get them at the moment. And I mean, I'm using it when it's sunny in the garden all the time. So just bear in mind, you kind of get your money's worth. Argos have got sun loungers and they are £25 and it seems to be the only thing in stock. Let me go show you my shower curtain now. I know not a lot of people have these now and I'm probably stuck in like, I don't know what, what year, but um, this was b and It was thicker than the usual shower curtain. The brand Addis, is that how you say it? I don't know. Yeah, it's like thick. It's kind of like a curtain. I don't know, it's just really good. So I thought I'd share it because it's... 5 99 That was the part two of the haul I forgot about. I feel like I'm forgetting other stuff, but it's been too long now. I've had loads of responses saying keep this mirror black. I'm still unsure. I look at it every time I walk past and I'm like, GOLD! GOLD! I don't know if I'm gonna hate it. I'm so indecisive. If you've seen my kitchen transformation video, you'll know. Got this out. And... I've put my Lenore in here. Look at that, looking cute. So I said I was gonna get a plant for this and then it ended up up here and I kind of love it. By the way, can we just talk about the fact that I always vlog on the day before I need to wash my hair and it's not always a look. I feel like I'm really interiors obsessed at the moment. But basically, I'll put up a photo of what my dressing table used to look like, but it's just been made bare. These are my show brushes. I just think they've got to go. This has got to go. I want to get a gold circle mirror for here. And I need to just sort this out. I might do like a dressing table video, you know, because I want to sort this out. I feel like a catfish when I open this drawer and it's not looking perfect. This is like a DIY desk hack from Ikea. I'm kind of considering getting a new chair as well. But this is... I don't know, like my room's not tidy right now, don't judge me. Okay, it's, shut up, how dramatic. Am I actually having enough? My room's not tidy, I've got two things on my bed. I swear, I'm the biggest troll of myself. I actually said to myself yesterday, no, you stupid bitch. And then I, and then I went, like, Jesus, that was a bit harsh. This room is just very white, gold and grey. And I want that little touch of like wood that I have in the other rooms, or warmth, or whatever. Obviously, I've got the pink... <laughs> what is that? The pink triangle, that's it. Thinking about maybe adding one of those little leather pools here. And I just want to do this up. Any ideas? 
welcome. So I've watched Shayun's vlog, something that helps me save money, and I've been meaning to do it for a while, and I haven't, and actually I think I've probably spent more money because I haven't done it. I love stationery. I have not named myself my organised bub for no reason. I know a lot of people have come here from my kitchen transformation vlog. It's got a lot more views over lockdown. I guess a lot of people doing kitchen DIYs, so I feel like... Why can't I speak? Oh. Basically, I've had a lot more subscribers since that video has boosted in views over lockdown. You might not know, I love like organising, or you probably guess from the name, but particularly in a notebook. I have a series on my money book. Get to the point. Get to the point. Why did I just go into like <laughs> Coronation Sheet theme tune? I couldn't be getting further from the point if I tried. Do you know what someone actually complimented me on? How straight to the point I am. And I kind of pride myself on my videos being snappy. And actually in my IKEA video, at the end of it, I said, see you on Sunday for a vlog twice. I didn't cut one of them out and I was livid. I find that some people are like, so yeah, I um. I'll see you in a vlog on Sunday. So yeah, see you in a vlog on Sunday. So yeah, see you in a vlog on Sunday. And you're like, you've told me eight times. When it comes to holidays, doing stuff, experiences I like to call it, like booking Beyonce tickets, anything like that, I'm like, take my money. But when it comes to material things, I'm very indecisive. I'm sort of more on the air of, do I really need that? And so wish lists are a way of me being a bit more clearer on what I actually need. Since I got my Kiki K, which sadly, Kiki K have gone into administration. <laughs> Miss you. I wanna write wish lists in the back. I probably won't be able to think of... Oh, steady on. <laughs> I probably won't be able to think of many whilst I'm doing it now, but then every time something comes in my head, I'll get the Kiki K out, add it to my wish list, and then every time I wanna buy something, I'll look at my wish list and think, do you need it? Or is there something that is more of a priority in your wish list that you actually need? Do you know what I mean? My nose is whistling. Sweet. Do. Sweet. <laughs> this vlog is a mess. I'm a mess. So I've got beauty, home, tech clothes and other. Ever I think of something, I'll just now add it to these. I am even just browsing online, I'll have more of a purpose as to what I'm browsing for instead of just looking. Does anyone else come in the kitchen? Chop yourself a bit of cheese off and eat it. I wish I had some grapes. Could have had a little grape, a bit of cheese. Mm. This is why I have it in a cupboard. Dun, 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 dun. That's terrible, isn't it? to my attention that um, <laughs> I'm an idiot. So my tea towel that I bought from Ikea, and now I'm looking at them, I'm wondering why on earth I actually said that. I called this a flamingo. <laughs> I think I just saw the pink and was like, flamingo. We've all had to look at my manky cold sort all day. So this girl might be mugging me off. <laughs> And having a giggle at my expense, right? But someone said that ice, holding on, and then just keep doing it for as many times as you possibly can, gets rid of cold sores. So I'm gonna give it a go. <laughs> and here is my random, thrown together, cheesy pasta dish. I'm not even joking. It's actually so nice. I don't know what I put in it. I was just chucking stuff in. All of your videos are in my recommended. <laughs> you see my camera? Yeah. <laughs> hey vlog. Hey vlog. <laughs> hey vlog. <laughs> ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah, ain't nobody got time for that. I I read it out and Rosie was like, "What? Why did you say that?" And I was like, "She never That's heard wrong. that before." Yeah, she's never heard it. What? I'm ready for bed, which means one thing. I'm going to end the vlog here. I've tried to end this video about a hundred times and I'm sick of myself at this point. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up. I'll see you next week. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, thanks. Bye.